Hey everybody, welcome back to our Bottle Popcorn. Thank you all for clicking on this video. My name is Stephanie. If you're someone who enjoys talking about film, consider hitting that subscribe button. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you would know the dilemma that I have been going on regarding this particular video. It was originally supposed to be 12 days of Christmas, kind of like what I did with Halloween, my 13 nights of fright. I did not want to be stressed out like I was with uh, the Halloween series and then I was gonna do something out. I don't know you guys this video idea has been like I don't even know so many different ways I was gonna cancel it all together, but you know what I said I gotta do a Christmas video I, I didn't do one last year So I was like we're gonna we're gonna do one this year I know you probably see a lot of these and if you do more than likely all the same movies are going to be included For the most part there are a few classics that will not be incorporated in my uh, video Now, welcome to my living room. Um, I really wanted to film over here for this particular video because it's Christmas time video and I just, I love my decorations this year. I did a whole like woodsy theme. I'll give you guys a little twirl around here as I'm talking so you guys can see um, how my live, it's mostly just my living room, you guys. That's all that's Christmassy in my house is just the living room. Uh, but I, I love the way everything came out. Now for this particular video, I'm going to be giving you 12 of my favorite Christmas movies in literally no particular order. And I mean no particular order, you guys. I put in the 12 movies in here and we're just going to pick them out randomly and that's just going to be how this is going to go. My number, I guess, 12 pick, but uh, remember, unofficial 12th pick, you guys. And that's going to be, we're just going to start off with Jink. Jingle All The Way, you guys. Now, Jingle All The Way did come out in 1996. It does start on our Schwarzenegger and Sinbad. I honestly just rewatched this and the other day. It's currently on, I think it was Hulu where I saw it. And I still absolutely loved it. I mean, there are obviously a few things there that didn't age that well. I mean, there are probably more than just a few. But I'm only going to critique it as a few things because I just love it so much. Now, Jingle All The Way is just about um, a dad who's trying to get the best awesomest toy for his son and he was a very much a procrastinator like yo comprenderé we're 12 days away and i have not bought a single christmas present we, sh we i'm gonna do it this week you guys don't worry maybe maybe i didn't do no i'm gonna do it i have to all right moving right along because i don't want this video to be long up next is the santa claus and i'm actually going to i guess cheat i'm going to include the trilogy you guys you know you can take it as is you can be like no part three sucks whatever I don't care. I honestly enjoy all three of them. I really don't know what the big deal about the third part is that people absolutely hate. I think it's fun. I love Martin Short. He's freaking Jack Frost. Part two, of course, we have the fake Santa Claus whilst Santa Claus is trying to get the wife. And in part one, I know I'm working my way backwards within this trilogy. You guys, it is what it is. I mean, the first one is just the beloved, the original, you know. And this is when Tim Allen becomes Santa Claus. This is when he murders Santa Claus. Well, I guess he technically didn't murder him, right? He frightened him whilst he was on the roof and then like, he fell to his death. But then now he becomes Santa Claus. So that's that's always a great thing. I, I do love me some Tim Allen as Santa Claus, to be honest with you. Moving on to Klaus. I love, love Klaus. I really wish this would have been up higher on this unofficial list kind of deal. Uh, but there is a, actually a full review um, on this movie on my channel. This uh, is a Netflix original movie. It did come out last year. I saw it like three or four times last year because I just, I loved it so much. I had my mom watch it. I love, love the animation. I love the story. It's almost like a little origin story of Santa Claus of how he became who he is, how the myth started. It has some really uh, funny parts in there as well. Again, not your typical Santa Claus movie. It's a whole kind of other different little twist to it. But again, I have a full review uh, on this movie um, on my channel. Um, up next, I don't even know what number we're on. We got The Night Before Christmas. Again, this one would probably, honestly, would probably be my number one. I love The Nightmare Before Christmas, obviously. I don't know if you can tell my little socks over here as well. Of course, I have my poster in my little nook over there that I've had since like the summer I think and it's still up there and it's good no I'm, I'm gonna take it off next next month you guys and they'll be back up in the summer I don't care but you know this is one of those controversial movies of is it a Christmas movie or is it a Halloween movie is it a Christmas movie I mean it has Christmas on the title you guys so obviously it's a Christmas movie but yes 
it is a yes when you ask what type of movie it is yes it is an all year round uh, movie it's one of my favorite movies of all time uh, moving on to a uh, last holiday now this is a 2006 movie it does star Queen Latifah and Elo Cool J I adore this movie it's one of my most rewatched movies Queen Latifah's character finds out that she has a terminal um, illness and she only has a short amount of time to live and she decides to uh, supposedly live out the rest of her life doing what she wants to do she travels to Europe uh, stays in this really fancy hotel she ends up doing what's in her dream book um, Queen Latifah is really Georgia Georgia that's her character's name sorry I had I had to remember she's more of the shy type of character of course she has her crush on Ella Kujay's character of course we have a little love story as well moving on to Christmas with the Cranks. Now, this is a 2004 very underrated type of movie. You really don't hear too many people talking about it, but it is such a funny movie, you guys. I love it. It stars Tim Allen and also Jamie Lee Curtis. They're a married couple. Uh, the whole little town, you know, loves Christmas. They're trying to get Frosty up on the roof, and they're very, very like unified type of community so this particular year they were actually going to be alone because their daughter Blair decided to stay in I think it was Argentina or somewhere basically Luther ends up doing the calculations and finds out how much money they're spending on Christmas with everything involved with the decorations the donations the party and decides you know what it's probably a good idea if we skip Christmas altogether this year save up our money and then go on this Caribbean cruise because guess what we will actually be saving some coin on the cruise. Moving on to Grandma Gal Ran Over by a Reindeer that just kind of fell out of my hand. Now this is a 2000 animated film. I love, 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 love this movie. So we got the cousin who's trying to cash in on the store because Grandma does not want to sell her store to like the wealthiest like meanest CEO of the town and he really wants this property and uh, cousin Mel really wants that money so we got like uh, the courts we got Santa Claus going to jail it's a whole thing you guys it's a lot of fun if you've never seen it I totally recommend it so up next would be Dr. Seuss How the Grinch Stole Christmas so this is the one with Jim Carrey um, it is on Netflix I believe right now as well so last year I did do a little skit I'm gonna insert it here Funny thing, you guys, I had no idea that Coco was in the shot until we saw the playback, and I probably would have redone it, but I was like, you know what, that's perfect with her being in the damn shot. Great, great movie, you guys. I'm not gonna, you know, I I'm trying to move around this video as quickly as I can. I feel like everybody knows who the Grinch is, and you know, Jim Carrey again plays the Grinch, and who doesn't love a good Jim Carrey movie? Up next is Home Alone, you guys. I'm only incorporating the first part. I've never seen the third part. Part two, I enjoyed as well. If you want to incorporate that in your list, then incorporate it in my particular one. I'm okay with just the OG. He's protecting his house from these intruders and he's doing what he has to do and then he cleans up very nicely. Uh, moving on to The Holiday. Now this is a 2006 a romantic comedy type of a movie. So it stars Jude Law, Cameron Diaz, Kate Winslet, and Jack Black. Um, honestly you guys, this movie took me a couple watches to actually love it. I, I was not fully here for it when I first saw it. Basically we have Amanda and Iris who both have their own situations going for them being dumped, being depressed, being sad during the holidays and at the last minute kind of end up putting their house up to swap. We have them swapping from California to an English little village. We have some uh, love, little romance blo uh, blooming. Let's move on. We are down to the last two, you guys. We have the Christmas Chronicles. I don't know if I want to incorporate part two. No, we're just going to say Christmas Chronicles. came out 2018. Um, it stars Kurt Russell, and he's a very, very cool... Santa Claus. We have these two kids who are trying to capture Santa Claus. I mean, that's every kid's dream is are we going to be able to get him on tape? Are we able to meet 
Santa Claus. Again, we have him getting arrested. This is the second movie where Santa Claus gets arrested, is it? Third, second, I don't know. Does he get arrested in Santa Claus, Tim Allen? What is it with Santa Claus being arrested? I don't know. But um, yeah, so it is a lot of fun. I do like it way better than uh, the second movie. That's why I'm not officially incorporating it within my little list, but there is a sequel to this. The ending of this movie is awesome because we do have a little small cameo uh, with Goldie Hall. Of course, that's Kurt Russell's uh, partner in real life. But she is in the second part. She only has a cameo in the first one, but she is uh, there in the second. And the last movie, I had to move my phone to make sure, is... Bad Santa. So this motherfucker gets arrested too. <laughs> this is a 2003 dark comedy. If you're not into like the more raunchy, well, it's not really, I guess it has a little raunchy in it. It's not too much, but like a little bit. He's not the official Santa Claus like he is in the other ones. He is just, you know, the mall Santa Claus. So we know this is a fake one, you know, not like the other ones that are real. It does start Billy Bob Thornton as Santa Claus, Lauren Graham, uh, Tony Cox, the late uh, John Ritter, and the late Bernie Mac. This one also has a sequel, but I do prefer this part over the sequel. This is about Willie and Marcus, who are mall thieves, and they post as Santa Claus and uh, the elf, so they can kind of like see all the stores, see the merchandise, so they can then go in on Christmas Day to steal everything and then take off. Willie is just like the worst. Uh, Santa Claus there is. He's always looking super dirty and he definitely got, got something going on with him. He is a drunk and uh, Marcus of course has kind of had it up to here with him and he's just he's over him and, and they've been partners for a long time. There's also Thurman Merman the little kid who believes that Santa Claus and it's just like the strangest little boy and and Willie just mistreats him but you know deep down really does love him and <laughs> has him staying over at his house because the grandma doesn't know nothing it's a lot of fun you guys it's funny um it is a dark comedy it's not for everybody it's definitely not a family friendly movie this is the only one i think out of my list that's definitely not a family friendly movie uh unless like your kids are like teenagers then you know you can make it into a family uh, family night but if you do have little ones it's probably best not to show them this particular movie if you've never seen it before all right you guys so these are the 12 movies that i have uh for you guys i hope you enjoyed this video i'm glad that i ended up uh doing it to be honest with you go ahead comment down below what are your favorite christmas movies i would love to know do we have anything on the same list i'm sure many of you are gonna have like a christmas story christmas carol all those like really og classic ones they're really not my cup of tea to be honest with you of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new till next time i'll see you guys at concessions